Hey guys, you all remember that story that I was talking about, about the guy who left his son in the car and he died? Well, Justin Ross Harris's wife is living every parent's nightmare. There are many unanswered questions in the case of Justin Ross Harris, the Georgia man who was arrested for killing his 22-month-old son, Cooper, by leaving him in a hot car. Some center around his wife of eight years Lena Harris during a probable cause hearing on July 3rd, which was my birthday. Cobb County Police Detective Phil Stoddard testified that when Harris was reunited with her husband after learning he had been charged with murder, she asked him, Did you say too much? He also testified that she had worried about the possibility of Cooper be being left in a hot car saying it was her worst fear. Police say both parents conducted internet searches for more information on child deaths in a hot car. Now the lawyer representing Harris who has not been charged in connection with Hoover's death is trying to provide some answers. In a statement released Tuesday, high profile attorney Lawrence Zimmerman says that the 30 year old dietitian has been unable to mourn the loss of her son. The statement, which is the first public comment made on behalf of Harris, does not mention her husband. Lena Harris is living every parent's nightmare. The child she bore and loved every moment of his life has died. The statement begins, for most parents, it's a it is a difficult, if not impossible, to comprehend such a thing. But for Lena, that nightmare is all too real. She will never again be able to tuck him into bed at night and return later to check on him. She mourns Cooper's death deeply in her own private way. She takes comfort from a strong faith in God, but the loss is still overwhelming. Getting through every day, each day, seems almost impossible. Dealing with her grief had become, has become more difficult as the days go on. However, in large part because of the constant speculation and inudo in the media, newspapers, television, and online media have fostered a poisonous atmosphere in which Lena's every word, attention, and emotion, or failure to cry in front of a crowd is scrutinized for some supposed hidden meaning. In much the same way, the press unjustly harassed and who did Olympic bombing hero Richard Jewell when he didn't behave as some thought he should. <laughs> the statement continues. Reporters have delved into Lena's upbringing and her employment quizzed people for information about her marriage and her sex life, but con constant t attention has prevented her from returning to work. For Lena Cooper's death has been devastating. She asked that she be allowed to grieve in private without reporters calling, following, or watching her home. Since his death, she has been a unable to have that time of mourning that every bereaved parent needs. Please allow her the dignity to mourn her son in private. Ross Harris has pleaded not guilty and is being held without bond in the Cobb County Jail. His lawyer said calls Cooper's death a tragic incident. Accident. Okay. This is no accident. You left your son in the car while you were sexting five women. That is not a responsible parent. And the mother isn't even acting like she she's crying. This article proves that you can't be trusted if you're not a good parent. Bye.